can uh, make you fail to become successful. So the first thing that comes into my mind is focus. So focus is a key integrate to success, right? We all know that. But what has happened to the focus at present times? <clears throat> like uh, if you recall when we uh, go out with our friends on a weekly uh, lunch or dinner, what do we do? We do like this? Huh? What are our, our relationships are becoming like this? This even uh, children are uh, playing uh, nowadays on mobile phones. So we have lost our focus to these devices. We are uh, panicking when we are not able to find our phones. Our battery goes down. We are uh, uh, running to find the charger. We are instantly in a urge to reply on the messages and emails and we feel guilty if we don't able to do that. So we have lost our focus to these devices. Another thing to lose our focus is uh, uh, the social media. So uh, we are going a lot on social media and comparing uh, the life that people are posing, uh, they, are, they are posting the stories and we are comparing ourselves and feeling low. So I will just share one story with you. I think many of you would have heard that. Uh, there was a raven uh, a crow. Uh, he was uh, very unhappy with his life. So he was sitting on a branch of a tree and uh, he started crying about his unhappy life. Uh, there was a monk sitting uh, below the tree and suddenly he felt uh, tears on his cheeks. He saw awkward and he uh, asked, Why, uh, raven, my friend, you are crying? So uh, Raven told that, oh wise man, uh, I am very unhappy with my life, uh, people shoo me away, they don't give me food, uh, they uh, uh, treat me with disgrace, so death is better than this life. So mom said that uh, uh, we should become happy in whatever conditions we are, we should try to become happy in whatever conditions we are. So Raven did not understand his wisdom, he continued crying. So to make him understand, he told that, okay, uh, let me help you, tell me what you want to become and I will make you that with my powers. So uh, Raven became very happy and he said that, do me a favor and make me a swan. So before uh, trying his powers, uh, Mom said that you first go to the swan and ask him whether he is happy with his life and I will wait for you under this tree till you come back. So Raven flew and he found a swan in a pond and he went to the swan he said that uh, you are white as milk, very beautiful and people admire you, you must be the happiest bird on the planet. To which swan replied that uh, no I am not the happiest, there are so many colors in the world and I have a white color which is the no color. So I am not happy. I think parrot uh, might be the happiest because he is so colorful and beautiful. Raven flew from there and he went to the parrot. He said that you are very colorful and beautiful. You must be the happiest bird in the world. Parrot also replied that no, uh, people keep me in cage and I am always afraid that someone will catch me and keep me in cage. They will imprison me so I am not happy. I think peacock is the happiest because he is more colorful than me. Raven flew from there and he uh, after some time found a peacock in a zoo. There were many people gathered to admire the beauty of the peacock and uh, after the people left, Raven asked the peacock that you surely are the happiest bird in the world. People are admiring you, people shoo me away but they are uh, gathering here every day to see your beauty. Peacock also said that no, I am not the happiest. They pluck my feathers for decoration and I am kept in the zoo because of my beauty. So I am not the happiest bird. So Raven asked the peacock that then who is the happiest bird according to you? So peacock said that I have examined well uh, in this zoo and I think you the raven are the happiest uh, and the luckiest bird because no one keep you in cage, no one uh, pluck your feather, no one use you and you can roam freely. If I would be a raven, I was thinking that peacock was thinking that if he could be the raven then he can roam freely in the world. Hearing that raven flew back to the uh, tree and he said to the monk that I am very happy with my life and I don't want to change. So just the thing is that we should stop ourselves comparing with ourselves or others sorry. 
So uh, whatever we have, we should be content with that and we should practice gratitude. So that is the thing. And uh, another thing is that uh, what I also emphasize is on physical being. Like uh, apart from this uh, uh, physical body or whatever your physique should be also a priority to you. Like I do, I uh, run and I introspect. That goes hand in hand with me. Like when I run, I think about my previous day, my next day, I plan the things. So that is also one of the important things. Uh, second opposite to this is emotional being. You have to prioritize your needs. So a person, uh, I will give an example like, if a person is prioritizing his need of significance, then he will always put himself uh, above others. He will be like, I have to be the one. Then again, he will uh, uh, take the uh, medium of this social media and post the fake pictures and make believe like. Similarly, if satanity is on the top priority, then a person is set out on the growth path up to a certain level. There will be a saturation point for sure. So, uh, I was just reading one book, uh, this Mindset by Carol Dweck. In that, uh, uh, the uh, writer emphasized on changing the mindset, mindset to growth mindset. Uh, I'll just show you one side. So, uh, there are two types of mindset, fixed mindset and growth mindset. <coughs> fixed mindset person will always uh, try to do things in which he will succeed. He will not do things in, will, in which he will fail. Because he thinks that his significance will diminish. People will judge him uh, and he will uh, set out his uh, uh, what the level of excellence he has achieved. So even he tries, uh, he stops trying the things because of this fear of failure. Opposite to this growth mindset 